we look at triangles and we have six different triangles and first of all let's have a look at this triangle over here now these lines indicate that these sides are not equal to one another there we have one line two lines and three lines there so it indicates that all these lengths are different none is equal to the other when all sides are different we call this triangle a scalene triangle what? scalene triangle let's have a look at the next triangle and here we have a triangle of which these two sides are equal in length when we have a triangle with two sides equal we call it a isosceles triangle now very important is when we have our isosceles triangle you must remember that the two opposite angles of these two sides in other words opposite this side it's this angle over here and opposite this side this angle over here when we have our isosceles triangle these two angles will be the same size right so we can do this we can indicate that by doing this oh that's a nice property so when you see our isosceles triangle straight away you know oh the two angles opposite these two sides are equal the next triangle we have over here is a triangle where all three sides are equal in length right so this size is equal to that one is equal to that one and we call this triangle the equilateral triangle equilateral triangle Did you know when you have an equilateral triangle where all three sides are equal, all three angles will be the same? Okay, so all three of those angles will have the same size. Furthermore, you know that the interior angles of a triangle always add up to a hundred and eighty degrees right, any triangle always add up to the interior angles always add up to a hundred and eighty degrees now if these angles are the same size they will share this hundred and eighty degrees which means that each of these angles will be sixty degrees the next triangle we have is this one over here and as you can see all these 
angles are less than 90 degrees so this might be 89 this might be 40 and that might be 50 or 45 degrees so all the angles in this triangle is less than 90 degrees therefore we will call it an acute angled triangle as soon as you have one side or rather one angle that is let's say for example 90 degrees it will not be called an acute angled triangle it must be all angles less than 90 degrees Ah, it brings us to the next triangle, and as you can see over here, oh, we have one angle over here that's greater than 90. We call this triangle where at least one of the angles in the triangle is greater than 90. So we call this triangle an obtuse. angled triangle because one angle is obtuse and then the last triangle we have over here as you can see Oh, what does this over here? This angle is shouting out, I'm 90 degrees. Right? So if you see this symbol over here, you know it stands for 90 degrees. So we will call this triangle a right angled triangle. So remember, in your right angle triangle, one angle is 90 degrees.